All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai922. Um, <laughs> Attack on Titan chapter came out. <laughs> but that's not what this review is about. Um, that review, I'm gonna do a double dose. Yeah, cause I, I want I want to get mind fucked up the wazoo. I want I want a fanboy so much that I start bleeding from my eyes. So yeah, tomorrow, later tonight, it's going to be a double whammy. Attack, Shingeki no Kyojin, Attack on Titan chapter review and episode review. I'm going ham and cheese. But that's not what this video is about, like I'm saying. I'm also, if you guys want to go check out Taco Battle, though, we did a little double feature versus matchup. Go check that out. Go check that shit out. Go check this shit out. It's awesome. Episode review. Episode, this is what this video is about. Episode 2 review of... Name of this show? My youth romantic comedy is wrong, as I expected. Now, this one had a good premiere. I like the setup here. It's very interesting. And I was just looking around on Animus Network. And they got these people who rate the animes... And I was surprised to see what they gave Data Live. Out of a five, they gave it a. I'm not gonna, um, but you know what? It makes sense for that. So I'm just not gonna nitpick it because they gave they gave Attack on Time four point five out of five. So yeah, but anyway. My Youth Romantic Comedy is Wrong as I Expected, Episode 2. This one was pretty interesting. I mean, we had last week we had the premiere. This one, we're continuing with them. They're continuing helping people of this of, out of this, um, you know, uh, club, service, uh, volunteer club that's helping people. And in this episode... We get introduced to another character. Now, I'm not 100% sure on this, but the new character, he sounds very awfully familiar to me. The guy who does the voice. In fact, I'm going to check this right now. No fucking around. Let's see if I'm correct on this. Because I have a funny feeling this guy was in another anime. Let's see... I am right. Oh my word. The same guy who's in this show played Hirano from High School of the Dead. Base bomb! Anyway, let's get into the summary. Yeah, he apparently plays the same guy, but that's later on. Beginning of this episode, we pretty much have um, the one with the pink hair. I believe her name is Saki. I believe so. I believe that's her name, Saki. I could I could be wrong there, but I believe that's her name. And the one from last week, the one with the pink hair, the the orange kind of hair, who was helped by. Yukino and uh, Hachima. And she's trying to make friends with this other girl in the classroom and wants to have lunch with her or something and get into the conversation. And the whole time, um, Hachima, he attempts to help her and it doesn't go his way. And eventually what happens is What's her face shows up on um, Yukino to bail her out. But it was kind of funny because um, that girl, she, she says thank you to Hachiman and, and calls her, calls him Iki. Yeah. And the thing about this show that piss, is kind of pissing me off is the way they're treating him. I mean, like, you're gross, you're disgusting. Uh, I'm like, I know his face is mean-looking, and he's supposedly disgusting, according to you, but 
Do you think you can lay off the insults? Like, seriously. Back it off, please? A little back off a little bit here? Yeah, get it a little. Go too strong. A little too strong with those insults. But anyway, there's also another scene in this ep during the beginning of the episode where he's talking to the professor, the, the teacher, um, who got him into the club. And she, uh, he asks, she asks him, well, what do you think about Yukino? And she says, I hate her. I hate that bitch. And, you know, the, she's the guidance counselor. I'm like, fuck you, guidance counselor. I'm not doing this fucking club. <laughs> but what happened in this episode was actually pretty funny. But they had that. And then what ends up happening is the rest of the episode is basically they go to the club room, volunteer club, and they bump into this guy. And he's, they, 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 they're scared to go into the club room. They open the door and there's this guy going like this, this big fat guy, and he's like, he's doing all these weird poses and shit, and it's like, Hachiman, and, and he's, he's basically, his name that he states is, um, Yoshitaru Zaimokuza. Now, if anyone doesn't know what Yoshitaru means, that name is anonymous in Sankoku Basra. Supposedly. You know, that's a whole bit. And and also he kind of plays this guy kind of plays with with, with um Hachiman's name, saying his name refers to the god of war or something. Very weird. And basically, he has like a syndrome or, or something. He has an illness called 8th grade syndrome and I'm like what? this is what they told him and he also has writing syndrome basically what ends up happening in this scene is he wants help for his writing his his he wrote this this thing he wrote this whole this like thick pieces of paper of something he wrote and he wants Yukino and Hachiman and the other one to read it. I was like, no. And they read it and they just caught it. They were reading it. And and um, Yukino was like had notes in there and, and Hachiman read it. And they were all very sleepy. Both of them were very sleepy. I mean, eventually in this show, what's going to happen? He, he either one of them are gonna have feelings for each other. It's gonna happen. I just can't stand both of them. Both, both those girls. Yukino and the, the one they helped originally in episode one. I think they need to back the fuck off and stop treating him like he's a... Like he's the bubonic plague. That's what they treat... That's how they act towards Ajiban. They treat him like he's the bubonic plague. Like he's the Black Death. Oh, stay away from me. It's bullshit. So what ends up happening after that, you know, they looked over his, his work... And, they did, and then he asked them, he asked uh, Yukino, how would you think of it? It's trash. <laughs> he just called it trash. And it's just so saying all the different things that's wrong with it. The grammar's wrong. This shouldn't be happening here. You had all the kanjis wrong. I was like, damn. And then um, he asked Hachiman. He asked him, how oh, what did you think of it? What work did you copy this from? And he's like, ah! And he falls down, he's rolling on the floor. It was, it was hilarious. So that's one of the reasons I'm giving this a 4 out of 5 for this episode. And then that happens, and they decide, um, and he decides to himself that he'll continue writing and let him read it, and he feels that that is what helps him. To hear is another adventure. To hear people, uh... Come to you know critique him is an interesting thing to do. Give or take, um, and he's on his way, and then, and then he tell he tells and he basically is telling uh, Yukino about how that's his thing. He has writing syndrome as well. He loves to hear people contemplate and critique his work, <laughs> though you can't really call it a work. 
insane. Why he's leaving. Well, he creates this barrier and he's like, Sakai! I'm like, no. I was so just out. It was, ugh. I was, that was too crazy. And he leaves. And then the next day, we see him. We see Yoshitoru and uh, Hachiman. They're doing exercises in gym class. And we see this girl, or I looks like a girl with silver hair, look, watching them. And that's pretty much where the episode ends. So, yeah. Um, good episode. Like I said before, this was a pretty good fucking episode. Four out of five. Um, not a lot of stuff happened, but I'm still giving a four out of five because that shit was so fucking funny. Uh, and it's the same guy who plays Hirano from High School to Dead. And that's what makes it even more funny. Because that guy is fucking funny. He's just a great... He's a great voice actor for this role. It fits him perfectly. That was wonderful. So, yeah, it's one of the reasons I'm giving us a four out of five is that and how what happened in this episode. Um, I mean, those two girls, Yukino and the other one, they kind of treat him like uh, he's diseased. And I don't, it's just fucking bullshit, man. I'm like, fuck you. You know, it's, it's, it, it's stupid. Yeah, it's honestly really stupid because I'm like, come on, man. Is he really that disgusting? You know? Oh, you don't like him? He's the bubonic plague? Oh, okay. Okay. So you weren't... Yeah, you know what's stupid about this whole situation in this show? The fucking guidance counselor. Like, you know... You fucking know... That he hates this woman. This girl, Yukino. And she's like, she's like, I, I like seeing you interact with each other. I'm like, fuck you! Yeah, here, here you go, guy, it's counselor, fuck you, the professor, the teacher. I would say, fuck you, I'm not doing it. No, fuck you. I don't care if you expel me or, or what, what do you have to, what do you else you have to say? Fuck you. Truth be told, that, that's, that. If the whole point of him going to this this club, the volunteer club, was for the professor, the, the counselor's amusement, then all I gotta say is this: there's a cliff, jump off it, because that's where you belong. But overall, this was a good episode. Like I said before, um, funny as fuck. I'm like, <laughs> they were reading really thing. I was like, yeah, that's so funny. He's so delusional, that guy, and they thought he was. Asking help because he had an illness, a mental illness. I'm like, too much, too much. But overall, good episode. Um, and yeah, that's all I got for you guys. So yeah, this is Von Kai 22. Good episode, good episode. I'm really enjoying this series. So this series is so fucking funny. This anime is so fucking funny. I knew when they, I knew when Spring came out, and I took a look at the list, and I saw, wait a minute, that one. I was reading it. I was like, wait a minute. I've read this manga before. It's a light novel and I've read it before. So sure enough, this was it and I was excited to review this. So that's the whole bit, people. I'm Bankai 922. I will see you guys later. Four out of five for this one. I might be doing something interesting this coming week. I'm probably going to do a lot. This is how I'm going to do my live streams from now on for the week. Uh, seeing as how Thursday is going to be with, you know, Titans of Darkness, Monday and Tuesday will be live streams, or Tuesday and Wednesday will be live streams, and what I'm going to do this week is something interesting, this is the last thing I said, and I'll, I'll end this video, one live stream, I'm going to take the URL of the Hangout, and I'm going to post it on my channel, and I'm going to see who comes, that's what I'm going to do, that's what I'm going to do. And I'll just invite, you know, those people will get to click on the Hangout, get it, and come to the Hangout. It's like a surprise. And the other thing I'm going to do for Hangout this week, live stream, invite females only. That's this coming week. Look forward to that. This has been Bonkai 922. I'll see you guys later. Ajivad. Those bitches need to, to, to stop with the hate. Fuck the haters.